Hi Aries, welcome back to my space if you are a returner. Um, if you're not a returner, my name is Raquel. This will be your last two weeks of November reading. Um, for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because um, when I hit a thousand, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So make sure that you hit that and you hit the little bell because I'll be giving away a lot, including readings, okay? Um, when I was getting into your energy, Aries, I felt like you feel depleted. I feel like your fire is being snuffed out. You're being burned out. I'm sorry if you guys are feeling that. Um, I, I feel like your energy is being depleted here um, in the last two weeks of November. So it's very important that you rest, you rejuvenate, you don't go too hard, you don't work too hard. I do feel sadness for some of you. So some of you might be missing a loved one or might be, um, or might be grieving the loss of a loved one. For others of you out there, you're, um, it's like you're in a nostalgia mode and because of that, you're sad about a partner that you might have left, okay? All right, so let's get into it and see what your most needed message is. Spirits, my soul family, my guides, my angels. What is the most needed message for Aquarius, or Aquarius, Aries? Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, for Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is the most needed message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Law is not justice, rules that are not fair. This is your message. <laughs> um, for some of you, it could be a court case or a court battle that is, is depleting your energy. It's making you um, sad, uh, reminiscent. Some of you out there, it could be a court case that's not going um, the way that you hoped or the way that you planned. Um, for others of you, this could just be you feeling sad or depleted because things um, did not turn out fair for you or right for you. You feel like you've been gypped. You feel like... Um, Some of you are suffering a broken heart here, and it's like you feel like things played out unfairly on your end, on your part, like you were treated, there was a major injustice there. I'm getting sadness and depletion. I am so sorry, Aries, if you are going through that right now, if this resonates with you. I'm very sorry, man. All right, let's break it down with the tarot and see what's going on here for you, Aries. Um, spirits, my soul family, my guides, my angels. What's going on with Aries? Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the last two weeks of November 2019. Please and thank you, my soul family. Somebody took something from you. You feel it's not fair. There's, There was something, someone or maybe a higher force took something from you and you feel it's not fair. But you're not angry about it right now. You're more like in a grieving, um, a grieving of the loss. You're sad. That's why your energies are depleted. Some of you, if you have pets, you really need to keep them around you. Um, rose quartz. That crystal rose quartz can also help with bathing with it or um, putting it in a glass of water and um, then drinking the water. You know, putting it in a glass of water, letting it sit for seven for seven minutes and then drink it. That can help you as well. Uh, tiger's eye is a good one, uh, is another good crystal to get. But um, yeah, your energy sources are feeling depleted. And when your energy sources are depleted and you're sad, you're vulnerable to spiritual attacks. So black onyx would be a, would a, be an awesome, black onyx and smoky quartz would be, also be awesome crystals for that. All right, so let's uh, cut the deck here and then we'll get on with your reading. I'll know more. 
All right. So your underlying energy is Ten of Wands. You have, like I said, some of you are feeling depleted. Some of you are feeling, um, you know, uh, you can't do this anymore. I do see stags in the background there. So it could be two people putting burden on you. Um, it also could be that you have, I'm getting animals as well. There's a burdensome, something's burdensome with your animals or like you feel burdened with your animals. Um, and I'm getting the moon here. So like around the Sagittarius new moon, that might be very significant for you. Um, with the new moons, it's a new, it's a good time to start new things. Okay. So, um, let's see, let's see what you got going on here. I don't know no more. All right, so we got the two of pentacles. You're trying to um, juggle. And, you know, with the law is justice, with her holding the scale there, 22 might be significant to you. Go look up that number. Um, but I feel like there's some type of injustice or unbalance in your life right now. We've got the nine of swords in the middle between the two weeks. So this is telling me a lot of anxiety, a lot of um, worry, a lot of uh, thought is going in. Some of you are not sleeping at night. Maybe you're listening to a lot of different people. Um, you're listening to a lot of different rumors. And I'm getting the owl. So I feel like you need to... Um, not take what they say so literally you need to actually like wisen up and pick out the right advice and the right what resonates and what suits you the best we've got two of wands at coming out of november so this is you bravely going forward you knowing your path um i do feel like there's a split here there is a lot of twos i'm seeing a lot of doubles here so 20 222 there's some type of balance or some type of choice that needs to be made here and this choice and it revolves around this burden okay um some of you are afraid to drop it um i feel like you feel sad about it though you feel very sad about letting this thing go um but it's burning you out it's depleting your energy okay We've got the two of swords. Yeah, we're getting twos everywhere. You're having a hard time making a decision about something. You're not listening to your intuition. Things aren't balanced right now. Um, you need to take that blindfold off your eyes. You need to listen to your intuition more. Um, I feel like, and I'm seeing lots of moons here. So I'm feeling like around the Sagittarius new moon, it's like you get a new, a new idea or a new... Um, it becomes more clear to you on um, what your next step is and how you need to move on from this. What is influencing the four of swords is the, or the nine of swords is the four of swords. So this is you needing, you needing to take a time out. You needing to meditate. You needing to relax. You needing not to listen to um, the gossip or the advice of others and really going internally and asking yourself what your next step is, what you need to do here. There's some type of decision that needs to be made and I feel like you need to listen to your intuition. You need to listen to your intuition. Don't listen to all the thoughts and all the ideas of other people. Listen to what is right with inside you, okay? We got the seven of swords. There's a lot of swords. So you could be involved with an air sign here. Um, you could be involved with a Libra because I'm seeing a lot of uh, balance here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of the scales. So it could be a Libra or it could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. But whatever it is, I feel like you are deceiving yourself. I feel like you are, I don't feel like this is somebody being sneaky. I feel like it's you deceiving yourself. It's clarifying the two of wands. And usually for me as a reader, what the two of wands represent is knowing the decision that you have to make. You already know in your soul what path you need to follow here, but you're having a hard time making that decision because you don't want to let go of something. OK, you already know what you need to let go of, but you're afraid to let go of it. You're afraid to make that hard choice. You know the choice that you need to make. So you're trying to deny yourself it right now. You're trying. It's, you, it's like you're in denial. It's like, yeah, I know I need to make that choice, but 
maybe I don't have to make it. All right. You need to um, clear that denial out of your head. Um, you're all up in your head in the last two weeks of November, and you really got to do some meditation, some calming, um, salt baths, salt baths are amazing, um, rose quartz, lots of rose quartz, okay, because I do feel that sadness, um, for clarity, clear quartz is another, is another good stone, all right, so those are some good crystals for you. Uh, and meditation. If you are not into that stuff, then I would say you need to really pay attention to your dreams, really go within, really think, you know, not, not, not think up here, but, you know, think with your intuition, whatever it is that pops out at you first, that's what you need to do. All right. And let's get some clarification on these while you're reading, reading is going to be long. All right. Let's get some clarification, Spirit. My guides, my soul family. How do these energies connect for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last two weeks of November. Please and thank you, my soul family. How do these four energies connect for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so we got the nine of coins. This is about your independence. And some of you, this might be job job related. Maybe you got passed up by a promo for a promotion. I'm feeling like some of you maybe, or maybe either you're in a decline. You just lost your job for no apparent reason. It's like, that wasn't fair. Why did I lose that? Some of you need to have some faith um, that things are going to work out all right. You are this, you are coming in as this independent person here. I feel like this is job related because of the pentacles and it's making you all up in your head with worry about how you're going to move on, move forward. Um, but I feel like this burden, the reason it was a, it was a burden for you and, um, whatever happened here, either you're thinking about quitting or you were fired. Um, unfairly you were unfairly fired it's like something happened at work and you took and you got the you got the blame like they scapegoated it to you when it really wasn't your fault and you got fired unnecessarily fired but this dropped your this dropped the burden right because that that job was burdensome and it's like now you feel like everything's you feel sad you feel depleted you don't know where to go next but this is saying you are independent. You do have that independent streak. And, you know, worrying too much about, about what's going to happen next can sometimes um, fog our mind of where we need to go next. Okay, so you really need to clear your mind here. All right, so how do these four energies connect for Aries? We've got the Knight of Cups here. So this is somebody coming in. This is somebody coming in to offer you something, offer you some emotional support or, or emotional stability. This is um, a Pisces. I get Piscean energy off this card, but it could be a Cancer or Scorpio. Whatever it is, somebody's coming in to offer you um, a new, to help you with your emotion, to help you lift you up, to help you... Um, to help you make this decision. Um, for some of you, this could be uh, involving love. It could be involved, very much involving love. But um, either way, uh, Aries, it looks like towards the end of November, you're having, you're still having that hard time making that hard call or that hard decision. So just meditation. When I see a lot of swords, and especially the negative aspect of swords here, all the negative aspects of the swords, it tells me that you need to you need to meditate. You need to listen to your intuition more because you're having a hard time making a decision here. You're having a hard time um, knowing where to go next. And uh, when you have a hard time doing that, you really need to meditate and you really need to not worry so much about what's going to happen. Let the answers come to you. Let spirit guide you. All right. All right, let's get some advice for you, Aries. Spirit, my soul family, what advice do we have for Aries? 
Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last two weeks of November. And that one. All three of them wanted to come out, so what do we got? Snake, Shed, Old Skin. So this is about you um, getting rid of the past, past negative, whatever it is that, you know, this was burdensome to you. This was burdensome to you. All right. It caused a lot of sadness, a lot of grief. Whatever this was, you need to shed it. Okay. You need to drop that burden. This is about you moving on, moving forward. Okay. Stargazer, set your sights higher. So some of you, especially those of you who um, were unfairly fired or um, unfairly uh, left, uh, you need to set your sights higher because whatever left your life was not meant for you. You were meant for something so much more bigger than what you were getting. Okay, so this is a good thing that this happened because you have better, better things coming in for you. Okay, high priestess, harness mystic power, harness that power within, within you. Okay, uh, I'm getting cats and I'm hearing my cat going out, out in the background and I'm seeing cats. So, um, you need, uh, during this time, really love on your pets, love on your animals. Um, a cat could be significant for you. Uh, talk your feelings to it or whatever. Um, however it is that you want to heal. And like I said, this is healing for you. This is a healing um, process for you. I feel like this is... I'm sorry. And he's going like crazy in the background. Um, so yeah, cats are very significant to you love up on your on your little fur babies if you have cats if you don't have a cat it might be saying go out and get a cat okay um some of you need to add more fish into your diet as well i'm getting that how did i get i think i got that with aquarius or aquarius so some of you might be dealing with an aquarius but and i did say aquarius at the beginning of this um so it might be an aquarius that's causing you grief but fish add some more fish into your diet as well okay well, that's all I have for you. That's all the downloads, Aries. I am so sorry if you're going through something like this. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I love reading them. I love seeing your energy. Um, it helps me connect with your energy more. Uh, you guys have been so supportive. And because of you, my channel has like gone has blown up and I am so grateful to each and every one of you. I am going to be doing a giveaway on my channel um, once I hit a thousand. So um, if you want to be notified for that, hit that little bell. Um, and others of you, you know, I'm just, I'm just grateful. Thank you. I wish you all the very best last two weeks of November. Remember this is happening for a good reason. Okay. Whatever was in the past is not meant, whatever left your life or leaves your life in these last two weeks of November, it's meant to leave your life because you're meant for something better. You're meant for something greater. Okay. Keep that in mind. Let that help you. Let that help heal you. All right. Take care, Aries, until the next video. Bye.